Here comes the sun. Jason's got a target. Big gold, little gold. Looking good again. But it was that storm tide last weekend when the red seaweed came in. Got real soupy, it really wrecked it for us. There was a drop on a cut, a drop cut up high. That sand got all scattered down through here. It was really good though. Chilly this morning. Come on, son. Come on. Bridget's not even silver. Ah, oh, look at all the rocks in there. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, <laughs> look at that Indian. That's a fatty. Hey. I got a fatty dude! It's a higher 80s, 90s. Bit broken. We're gonna dig that one. I was gonna bring my float and sifter, but I forgot. I should load it in the car. It's a little easier here. Put the shovel on it or something and just drag it along, tie it to you. We got it, we, oh, we got it. And I worked on this, I worked my butt off. Hold on. Oh, uh, it's a rosy. But it is silver. See that rosy on the ball? It's a thigamajig on the back. It's not a murk. It's definitely a rosy. God, that was deep. Here comes the sun. There's a ship out there. If I go a little bit over this way, I think we can see it. There it is. Big tanker offshore. Probably coming into Portsmouth to make a delivery, maybe to the salt pile. chilly this morning got my sweatshirt on I'm in the water water is pretty warm though it's supposed to won't be a warm day you got to get out there to the shoals maybe find some real pirate treasure don't got it no had to have gotten it yes there it is I knew it 91 on the XP 91 hey there's a little undertow it's trying to float away see it down there another rosy or is it a merc yeah it's a merc yeah it's a merc hey it's like somebody's it's like a fish is biting my detector it's pulling away an undertow through here that's good it means it's moving sand that's got to be one I saw a 40 39 we're gonna dig that sucker she's deep and it keeps going through the scoop I got my fat finger in the way. God damn it. Well, at least the sun rises up. Sensitivity 20. And um, let's try to go there. What are you using? Seawater? Low, low conductor. Low conductor? Depth. Try beach deep. Do the depth theme. See what happens. Give it a whirl for a little bit. See if that doesn't change it. Got it. 91, right on that rock or next to it. I got the rock out. What I do is, if I come over a flat plane and a couple of rocks are sticking up, I'll actually take my foot, sweep the rock, 
so it's clear drop that coil flat in the sand go across and then I get an extra depth we'll dig this oh no it's a stinking Lincoln oh no it's a sweet wheat it's a sweet wheat a sweet wheat look at this one gonna get a date on that one nice and clean a little blackness 55 I hope this ain't a bullet I just blew a hole there's a guy out there on a paddle board oh it's quite far out I hope it's paddled up right be up Shits Creek without a paddle Jason disappeared on the other side of the wall I think we're at low tide 652 we've got about an hour half hour that's pretty interesting it's a little deeper here now huh look at this one that's an oldie old hair barrette this might be a quarter 88 it's a ripper 88 right over this guys 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 hello hello guys no way look at this is that another one look do you see it down there untouched I'm not gonna touch it I gotta verify this you guys think I'm cheating or something like some of these other jabronis check this out let me go to fish for it let's see what it is oh okay that's another that's one that that's the one like Susan oh that's the one like Susan got. This has gotten bossing. This is what? C Lupru. I can't tell register. This is an old one. That's an old piece of glass. Still got the sand in there. We'll add to Susan's collection. She loved the Coke bottle. I gave it to her. TC Connecticut, something Connecticut, Bridgeport, Connecticut. I can't see the rest of it. I'll have to look at it when I get home. Lupio, Lupsi, Lupio, or Lapolio, or. This is intact. This is a beauty. Oh, ho, 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 this is a beauty. Well, we're going to go along here, see if we can't find any more. Oh yeah, that's a real old one. That looks like a football almost. But it's not 50. It's a 1950 class ring. See it? 1950 something. It is 10. There's no way you're going to get a school on that one. No. The front's worn. Gone. Yep. Yeah, there would have been a top two probably. Yeah. They're pretty heavy. Yeah. He walked over one. Yeah. Look at this one, Connecticut. This is wicked old. Another one. I got a strange one. Two. Hey. Let me. Give me. Yeah, it's giving me. What are you getting? Clicks. You got a 48 though. Wait a minute. Back up. I'm looking at your ID. I, it, it's given it's 23 oh what the hell is that is it just it's is the it the same a, kind of ring you got the other time is it a junk ring or oh look at that one silver is it silver it looks it it's not but it's too low that could be gold. it's heavy it yeah let's throw it down that's what I'm th I don't I don't know let me throw it down again I ain't getting shit on this. You're not getting nothing. nothing. That's weird. I, I know. Nothing. Mine came up as negative. Let oh. me put on the. Yeah, still shooting two. It's like an iron grunt on this. I don't know. It's an iron grunt, but it's coming up a 54 to 60. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a stone. Prong on each one, but that has some. 
Yeah, I'll clean that with a brush later. See what yeah. I can find. I think got a fucking onyx in there or something. Ah, we got some waves. But we got a little cross current, so maybe it's pulling sand here. A lot more stones. And there's a fishing belt out there. We got a bullet. That's a nice size one. I hope this records. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this ring, dude. This is incredible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta stop saying that. Oh, 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 oh. oh this is incredible. Oh, look at this ring. Oh my god, you guys. And I'm getting whacked by waves. It's marked. Oh, that's a pretty stone, whatever the hell that is. Look at the inlay on that. That was shooting a straight up 71. I don't know, that plate was a 99. Look at the inlay, that is, oh, let me get it in the sun. <laughs> that's, that's old. Wow, what a ring. Oh, that's a heavy one. Unbelievable, how's the solder joint on it? Okay, a little, a little crack. Not much. It looks like maybe 10. What a beauty, you guys. Incredible. What I'm doing is I'm kicking stones. As I go along, I get a signal. Take my feet. I kick the stone out. I got this coil nice and flat on that seabed. And yeah, it's, there's some ragged rocks down there. But that's okay. We'll switch the coil cover out. And you want to get, you get in better depth. Goddamn camera is absolutely junk. I don't know why I buy GoPros. I gotta watch Susan's detector before somebody steals it. <sighs> and I got a good signal here, it's in the 50s. Here's my good signal. Of course it's crap. You gotta love that. God, I hope this records. What a sunset. This is really giving some good stuff. If you notice the ripples and the rocks, sun's going down. We'll keep hitting it. It's been given this location a little bit around here. Tour. Big ship. Sandbar. Looks like it might have expanded a little. Get anything? Yep. Hmm. Nada. I picked up shells and sea glass. That's what I got. Unless I could get something if you gave me that ring you found. <laughs> it's a man's ring. Here's the wrap-up video from another pretty impressive hunt. Let's take my hat off to myself. This is a morning and a late afternoon hunt combined. Went out with Jason, then went out with Susan later in the day. Um, so I ended up with four rings. I got a brass ring. I got an absolutely crazy 10 carat, it's a citrine, Victorian scroll work, it's a big hefty ring, solid gold, 10 carat, I, I can't even, words can't even describe that one.
I got a small silver band, Mark Sterling. And I don't know what the hell this is. It's LFF, LFH. I can't even speak, I'm so tired. It's like, it sounds like it's high toned, but it came up like an iron grunt on the detector. Very odd ring. Appears to be maybe some sort of cheap base metal, maybe. I don't know. Unmarked. The ring is unmarked on the inside. I can say it's got a bit of a high tone to it. That's a strange one. So, came up as a 0 2 on the uh, Nocta, not the Nocta, the um, D2. And it was, a, it was low on the Manticore. Didn't even read. Weird. So, I dug it. It was a flunky signal to begin with. Deep. And we dug it out. We got it. So, um, got a huge weight. This is old school. This was hand cast. You can see the die, die marks. Very old lead weight and very heavy. That means we're at the bottom of the swimming pool. I got another one of these hair barrettes. Got three or four of them. This is a smaller one. But these are very old. So we know you're in an old area. A 36 mercury dime silver. A 63 rosy dime silver two regular copper pennies one was pretty green other side was looking low starting to get some signals and targets over there Jason got a 10 carat ring over there this class ring um, two wheat pennies 51 37 sweet wheats and they come out of there just looking so good just so good and the find of the day other than the ring which is like I say, you can't even speak on that one. A 1864 fatty. Look at the... This is unbelievable how this has been preserved. Just unbelievable how this coin's been preserved. I mean, it's like mint state uncirculated. It's crazy. One cent on the back. So you can even make out the little L on the back of the neck. Crazy coin awesome shape what a day and we did get this was on another video Susan had but we're gonna just put this video up I wanted to finish the year out on the videos um, I don't know what this is I've looked around for a mint mark it's just black it appears to be maybe 10 I don't know it came up high on the XP but then it would jump around on the signals I don't see a mint mark don't see a maker's mark or any kind of uh, sterling marks or anything and I looked it over I might put it off to the side just give it a quick brushing and down the line if there's nothing on there we'll just ch chuck it recycle the metal um, but this another bottle this might get interesting we might get some nice bottles we got the coke the hobble skirt coke from the 1920s Susan got a soda bottle, I believe. This, I believe, is a beer bottle, an antique beer bottle. It's a Bridgeport, Connecticut, eight fluid ounces, and it says, it's either C or G, I think it's a C, L-U-I-P-P-O-L-D, and it's registered. So I'm thinking that this is a beer bottle, but this is an excellent, no chips, excellent condition. It's got a little bit of a bubble in the bottom and there's no chips on top this is an excellent shape so what a day what a, what a day what a week what a year so far but uh, this is definitely is a little bit and you can see it right in the back here with that solder mark the solder joints just starting to go this is a very old ring I'm thinking 40s or before maybe Victorian so look at the inlay on that. That's incredible. Well, I want to thank everybody on beat. I want to go back out because it's so good. And uh, it's been real good down there. So hopefully things continue. And uh, we'll get some more videos up. Once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.